In 2012, Madagascar was struck by a serious locust crisis. This plague threatens the food security of more than 13 million people whose main source of livelihood is agriculture. In September 2013, the Ministry for Agriculture and FAO launched a three-year program with the objective of controlling the locust plague and safeguarding the food security of vulnerable rural populations. To this end, with the government's support, FAO deployed three mobile aerial bases which move with the locust population dynamics. Each mobile base is equipped with the essentials, 4x4 vehicles, trucks, spraying equipment and at least one aircraft, either a helicopter or a fixed-wing aircraft, as well as pesticides and fuel. The bases are operated by qualified local staff, supervised by international experts, all with long-standing experience in locust control. Over the course of the three-year programme, around two million hectares of infested areas need to be treated to bring the locust plague under control and return to a recession of locust populations. To achieve this, different pesticides are sprayed conventional chemical pesticides, insect growth regulators, and biopesticides. The program is designed to minimize the impact of locust control operations on Madagascar's ecosystem, one of the richest in the world. For example, when the infested areas are near national parks or in areas with sensitive ecosystems, treatments are carried out with biopesticides only. Concern for the environment is paired with constant attention to human health. Regular blood tests are carried out to ensure the safety of people exposed to the pesticides. FAO's guidance and training to local staff contributes to strengthen national locust control capacity, while building related knowledge and skills. One of the main objectives of these wide-scale control operations is to set up a permanent preventive control strategy led and managed by a team of national technicians and experts. An effective locust preventative strategy would result in the treatment of a maximum of 50,000 hectares per year and thereby avoid the ecological, human and financial impacts of a crisis. The three-year program must be completed to ensure an effective recession of locust populations in Madagascar. The fight is far from over. At the moment, we still have swarms, we still have light locust flies, and we still have hatching, which means the locust campaign is far from complete. The program is on the right track and already showing results, but late or insufficient funding to complete the three-year program would be disastrous. Locusts will continue to multiply which could have devastating consequences for a population already struggling with malnutrition and basic food insecurity. <laughs>